Oh, you can't see because of my screen, but there is the mailman. And right there is one of my plants. Come on, man, hurry up. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to today's video. This is it. This is the day that I've been waiting for all week. So here's what we have. It's an unboxing video, guys. This is the unboxing video I've been just dying to do. Oh my gosh. It's been so long. Look at this. And by the looks of it, you would think that I ordered like several plants. That I went like all out, right? Whoa, Whoa what are you doing? No jumping off. There's only two plants in these boxes. One in each. But I'm very excited about both of them. Oh, it's gonna be really fun. Both from different places, both from different Etsy shops. Because that is the only place that I order from anymore because it's the only place I can ever find what I want. I can't catch a restock even for plants that I don't want on any of these, any of these other plant shops, online plant shops. So Etsy's where it's at. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna get me a big hefty drink of my caffeine and we're just gonna jump right into it because I'm ready to tear these boxes open. But uh, I'll show you guys eventually, but I actually bought this really cute little filming seat for me to set on while I film, blah, film so I don't have to, okay, calm down, Samantha, calm down. We only need one at a time here. Getting a little crazy. Let's do the smallest one first. I'm pretty sure I know what's what based on the sizes of the box. But yeah, I finally got a little filming seat. It's the cutest little teal blue ottoman, beanbag ottoman, but it's firm. So my feet and legs and butt don't have to go to sleep every time I sit down to film a video. The floor kills me, guys. It's like the perfect height for my tripod and all that good stuff. So yeah, it just works out really good. Okay, enough. I will leave the names of the shops on the screen in the description because I cannot even, for the life of me, cannot remember where I ordered these from and I don't see the shop name on this particular package. So excited. All right. Caffeine. Let's do it. So whenever you open this box, this is what it looks like. It's a very lightweight box. They both are. So they use some of this uh, foam paper stuff, packing stuff, quite a lot of it actually. And then finally, we have the plant. Is the lighting terrible? It's been so dark and dreary here for the last, like basically all summer. I mean, we haven't, we've had barely any sunlight uh, coming in. So it really sucks when it comes to filming and it really sucks for my plants, but luckily I have enough grow light action going on that I think they're good. As you can see, I'm literally being swallowed by my jungle here. Like, I'm running out of space, but it's okay. This plant is taped in the box, so I'm gonna go ahead and free him. Free this little guy. Mama's coming, my sweet little planty. Oh, how I've longed to hear that marvelous sound. My box cutter cutting through packaging. Both of these packages shipped on Tuesday, the Tuesday after Labor Day, and today is Friday. So they were in the mail for three days-ish. I'm excited, I'm so excited, guys. I mean, these plants are nothing like super crazy. Oh my gosh, it's packaged very well, look at this. I mean, they really uh, bundled it up like a baby, which is what I like to see. I mean, it's packaged like a dang gift, okay? It is packaged very well. This plant's not going anywhere, and it's good because it's kind of delicate. This plant here is supposed to be a seedling, but I'm actually quite impressed with the size. And the other one's gonna be supposed to be a pretty large plant. plant. I can't speak at all lately. I don't know what's wrong with my brain, but it's just not working. Can't get over the, the shop's pack, packing skills. Definitely know what they are doing. Oh, this is so fun. I just wanna like take in every second of this unboxing because I'm telling you, I feel like I'm going through like withdrawal when it, oh, there's dirt going everywhere. I feel like I'm going through withdrawal and I have been when it comes to ordering plants. I'm not gonna be able to pronounce this plant, so please forgive me. I've been practicing all day. <laughs> That's sad, I've been practicing all day and I still don't think I have it. Okay, oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. 
guys oh my gosh I guarantee you can't tell what it is because I mean obviously it's an anthurium but pretty much all anthurium seedlings look the same oh my gosh and then there's tape around the top of the pot it looks like there's some brown paper that they put in to keep the soil from coming out and they taped it up really well packaging is like a plus I'm very impressed there's no casualties the leaves are absolutely perfect there's no yellowing I mean wow so I'm gonna attempt to pronounce this this I'll put the name on the screen you guys go ahead and prepare to make fun of me laugh your little butts off but Anthurium by by Leno by Lenorium by Lenorium by Lenorium Anthurium Valenorium Valenorium Anthurium by Lenorium by Lenorium by Lenorium that's how it looks anyway um, it's a very strange spelling uh, it's a very strange name so forgive me but the name will be on the screen. It's absolutely adorable. I'm also gonna insert some pictures of what the mature plant will look like because it's amazing. Um, there's a lot of anthurium on my wish list right now. Believe it or not, I actually don't really want the queen. I'm not really interested in the more high maintenance anthurium. I mean, obviously, anthuriums in general are a little bit more high maintenance than, or a little bit, they're more high maintenance than philodendron, which is my first love. It's kind of scary going into this territory, but there's quite a few anthurium on my wish list, and I do plan to acquire several of them before the end of this year. Look at it, it's so cute. Look how beautiful it is when it's mature though. That's what I'm truly just so excited about because it's gonna be gorgeous. So this is actually going to be moving into my humidity box with my other anthuriums. And yeah, it's gonna go in there and get lots of love, lots of humidity, lots of TLC. That way, I think this is actually gonna be a she. I think we're gonna call her a girl. Most of my plants are he's if you haven't noticed. But we'll try it for a while, even whenever, like most of them that I call she, like I end up going back and calling them he's later on. So I don't know why it's weird. Do you, do you guys gender your plants? I mean, I know a lot of you do because I've seen you do it. So hopefully she can grow into a big, strong teenager soon because right now she's a baby. But isn't she so cute? Oh, and this is one of the anthuriums that has the beautiful veination, like when the leaves mature. I cannot wait to see those mature leaves. I love you so much, honey. I can't wait to go leave an awesome review on the shop because they definitely deserve it for their packing skills and just the care and time that they put into shipping that plant. That is amazing. I'll definitely be going back to that shop as well. I wish I knew the name so I could tell you right now. This shop doesn't have the freaking shop name either. Oh, I'll put the name of the shop on, on the screen as well. I'm sorry guys, I didn't like super, super prepare or anything because I was just so excited whenever they got here. I've been like waiting, watching out the window all morning long, waiting for the mail to run. Sometimes it runs at like nine o'clock and then, you know, whenever I have something really exciting coming, it doesn't run till like noon or after. Sometimes it's like two o'clock. Isn't that just the way it works? When you have something like that you're actually waiting on, they like take all day. That's the story of my life. Okay guys, I'm in this plant. I'm just, let me give you a hint. This guy should be on a piece of wood. So he should be on a wooden plank already, if that tells you anything. Okay, so inside, you know, it's just lots of packing material, paper, hold the phone. Hold the freaking phone. This is packaged really well. Also, can you guys see this box is huge? Oh my gosh. So they packaged it great. I think it's taped in maybe, I'm not sure. We definitely, both shops definitely packaged both of these plants like they were not going anywhere, okay? All right, it looks like I can just pull it out. I love whenever places like package the plants up, like, I don't know, they make a little bag, basically. Oh, and there's like tape around it. It's packaged so well, unbelievable. Both of these plants are in pots. Let's get it out I just I'm so happy like it's a good day whenever you get plant mail for the first time in forever and not only that both packages are just ugh, the plants are just packaged like excellent you know 
so you don't even really have to worry if the plant has arrived in good condition or not. Oh, I'm so excited! I think you guys are gonna like this one. I don't hear this talked about very much at all. I'm not sure why. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying. I'm really trying here. Soil everywhere. Yeah, so no question about it. I'm definitely gonna have to vacuum, which is a okay. No complaints here. Okay, let me back up a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it, it's so cute. Hold on, hold on, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, hold on, I can't see it. Come out of there. It's so cute, oh my god, I can't tell. Oh my god, it's so freaking cute. I'm like, oh, I'm like having a freaking panic attack over here. Oh my god, okay. This is so interesting. I actually, in the pictures, like I thought this was a lot larger, but what I mean by that is I thought the leaves were a lot larger. So I guess it's just an up close picture. I thought the leaves on this plant in general were a lot larger. I love it. Okay. I mean, I know that the leaves do get larger because I've just been stalking Instagram, looking at pictures of this plant and the possibilities, <laughs> potential that this little guy has. Maybe I'll get him out and be able to actually show you guys. I mean, packaged super well, okay? There's some type of blue, like, saran wrap around the whole entire pot. This is awesome. Hope that I can keep it alive because I literally can't find really anything about this plant. Okay, I'm just gonna let you get a real, real good look at him before I tell you what he is. Oh my gosh. So amazing. Look at that. This is my first ever shingling plant and I'm so freaking excited. Um, oh my God. It's like growing off of the plank already. So cool. I really love and have really been wanting to get uh, a raffidophora. Is it called Cryptantha? Cryptantha or something like that. It's a shingle, another type of shingling raffidophora, but it has, it has like silver throughout the leaf, like silver veination. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then also the Monstera Dubai. So those are two that I've really wanted for quite a long time. I've honestly been kind of afraid of them. And as you guys may know, they're really expensive, of course, as is all plants right now. It's kind of ridiculous, but you know, the world's crazy at the moment, so people gotta do what they gotta do, I guess. So this is actually a Raffidophora as well. This is a Raffidophora, Raffidophora Hayi. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's spelled H-A-Y-I, I believe. I'll put the, the correct name on the screen, but it's very cool, very interesting. And yeah, they actually, they had two, and the first one had already been sold, so this was the last one they had left, but they were both the same price as far as I know. The other one was, I believe this one said it was 14 inches tall, and the I think the other one was like 17 inches tall, so it was a good bit bigger than this one. But I'm so happy with this one. It's still a really good size for a shingling plant, and I'm, just, I'm so happy with the fact that it's already mounted on a plank of wood. From what I've seen, usually when you order these types of shingling plants, you get a very small, like, unrooted cutting and it just comes in like a little cup of sphag moss or something and it's up to you to do with it what you will for the price I paid for this very happy with it very very good price for what you get and the packaging was absolutely excellent like I'm over the moon with both of the plants that I got today and the packaging honestly I'm just I, I kind of can't believe it and yeah my entire like month is made right now definitely my day probably my week I've had kind of a rough week I'm not even gonna lie to you guys um, it's just been kind of hard it's kind of like one of those weeks where if it can happen it will happen and I don't like being in that mindset either because I know that it makes whenever you're in a negative mindset and you just think everything bad's gonna happen to you it's like the negative momentum picks up and speeds up the more you think it and it's like more and more bad things keep happening so I'm really trying to get back uh, on track and I feel like this was exactly what I needed to do that to bump my mood and make me feel just more happy and positive in general and a lot of my issues guys is the fact that 
I we're just so cramped in this apartment like I gotta get out of here I've never looked for a home for six months before it's never taking this long to move when we're ready to move so it's just been so frustrating I feel like this is really a test from the universe honestly um, and I'm just trying to like keep positive and know that our perfect house is coming it doesn't have to be perfect just large enough and with a yard is that too much to ask is it anyways enough of my rambling I'm good everything's good but I just wanted to point out that you know this really brightened my mood made my my entire week just so much better and I'm so excited guys okay so both of these are pretty unusual plants in my opinion and by unusual I just mean not talked about so much I don't really hear a lot about either one of these in the plant community I hear about Mon Monstera Dubai all the time okay um, and all kinds of other anthurium but these two uh, I don't know I really like that they're kind of unique and you can't really find too much about them and they're both beautiful I can't wait until this plant gets massive leaves so cool. All right, my friends, I think that's just about gonna do it for this video. What are you laughing at, girl? Let me know what you guys think of my new babies, which one's your favorite, and yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna be ordering more plants in the future, because, you know, I have some making up to do, so I'm sure this won't be the last unboxing you see. I gotta go, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all to pieces. Bye, friends.